<laughs> what is that face? Good morning, it's 6 a.m. here in Panglao. And uh, our Ukrainian refugee neighbor desperately needs his Pajero functional. Uh, he has a two or three month old baby and depends on his Pajero as I depend on mine to take care of my family. So um, yesterday he asked me to take a look at it because he was constantly adding water to the radiator. And he's only been using water for months now, which I told him is not good for the um, water pump. But uh, I reached underneath and felt lower hose and I was able to stick my finger right through the right through the bottom hose. Already got the top one off there. So those are original clamps there and I think they're probably still fine. But what's not fine is this may be the original hose, I don't know. Let's see if you can hear the crunch. Sounds like it's made out of potato chips. So I told him we got to replace these two hoses. Uh, and then you can see the local style repairs all along the top of this radiator here. I don't even know what that is. It looks like some kind of fiberglass uh, resin material. Maybe epoxy or something. And then this is one of the more vintage uh, radiator caps I've seen in a long time. I told him obviously you've got water coming out of here too. So there's leaks kind of everywhere. Radiator, the cap, hose, all. So I'm going to try and yank this out right now. Because I have to work later so hopefully I can get this pulled out so he can run to town and get the... Hopefully he can get the new hoses while I'm working. And then we can get this thing back together maybe today. So he's got a car for his family. So that's the goal. Here's one of the uh, more favored types of repairs locally, uh, probably second to uh, duct tape and uh, black electrical tape. This is probably number three on the list of favorites. So, um, and of course that's just bouncing against all the pulleys and belts and all that stuff. So I think I'm just going to pull that and probably not even put it back in because it didn't have a cooling problem, ironically. Uh, it stayed nice and cool, just leaked everywhere. So originally when I drove this car, I was convinced that it was a right-hand drive import converted to left-hand drive, which is often the case here, uh, primarily because of the shift button on this side. Normally it should be on the side of the driver, unless I'm mistaken on that one. But uh, using your pinky to push this button in while you're driving is not super practical, so um, I was convinced that all this had been swapped over from the... Uh, from the right side. Maybe they just didn't make alternative uh, shifters for the right-hand drive, uh, sorry, for the left-hand drive market. That's a question for anybody out there who knows these. Uh. So I'm beginning to consider this a pretty underrated machine. It's got a pretty cool uh, mechanical four-wheel drive system. Seems to be pretty trouble-free. And based on how little maintenance this thing has gotten, and she still has 200 and, let's see, what was it? 267,000 kilometers. I mean, yeah, okay, cosmetically, she does look like she's got 267,000. Although those seats look pretty darn good. Um, but given the relatively low level of maintenance uh, she's received, she still runs like a Swiss watch. So, um, yeah, I wouldn't mind getting one of these one of these days. Uh, perfect rain. Nice. Okay, so first I'm going to cut the wire ties, pull this back, the radiator shroud. And we just got two, looks like a 10 millimeter there, and a 10 millimeter over there. And my guess is that could just pull up then, with that bottom hose removed. Um, that's what I'm hoping on, because down there we've got a spring clamp on the engine side, and a screw clamp on the radiator side. So I can't get to the screw clamp without taking off the skid plate underneath and I would prefer not to have to climb under there right now in the rain but uh, crap that's right it's an automatic transmission that means I've got cooling lines on the bottom of the radiator so 
So I am gonna have to pull that. Uh, gonna have to pull that skid plate. This is a confusing little beast here. I think that's for the uh, the mirror that sticks out here, so the driver on the right can see. It's a very common additional mirror with the left with the right hand drive vehicles. So yeah, this is a tough one to peg here. Got the steering shaft down there. There's no clear hole down there where the steering shaft has been covered up. Got the rack down there, steering rack. Yeah, I don't know. Tough to say on this one. Alright, well this is not as bad as on the big Pajero. It's got four 12mm bolts. On the big one you've got like seven or and you got two different pans that you have to mix together when you put them on and take them off so it's a little more tricky so it's pretty easy it looks like okay so that was pretty painless actually All right. I can easily get to the uh, automatic transmission line there. And I saw another one up here and then the hose. Oh yeah, there. And then the hose there. All right, so this should be out pretty quick, I think. Those are the tools you'll need underneath. And the cutter was to slice this here. I think uh, this may actually have been the original hose possibly and this was changed because they did radiator work but this was left original because they never changed this but so Alex was wondering what the problem was Alex asked me if we could just fix this with some kind of leak repair and I said no no we can't fix that with leak repair anyhow let's get the radiator out so next is going to be these two 10 millimeter bolts here, two of them, and I hope that's it. Haven't done this one before. Well, it's the first time I've been able to reach underneath and above at the same time. Well, that's really hooked on there. Alright, so the radiator is snagging on the cooling, the transmission cooling lines against the uh, shroud here. And I discovered that actually the shroud below is in good condition. It's just that the tabs were not seated properly in their slots. So that's why this is flopping around uh, down below. So I don't need to take this out now. Uh, I'm going to put the shroud in properly. In fact, like that. That's how it should be sitting. And um, yeah. So I don't need to pull this radiator out for now. I've got to get to work anyway. So, but at least we got the hoses out, so he can go get hoses today, and then get her back together later. And there we are, Pajero Mini radiator hoses, radiator cap. Maybe older than the Pajero itself. I could say the same for the hoses, possibly. I'm really thinking I'd like to get one of these. So we found some hoses that are basically like the original, just modify with the old razor blade, uh, carpet knife, whatever, and they fit. Just gonna have to trim that down a bit. Here in the Philippines, you don't tell them your VIN number or the year, make, and model. None of that matters. They need to see the original part, and then they just walk back to their stock and see if they find something close to the shape, size and all that sort of stuff. So they just happened to have these that they said were on the shelf already for about 15 years or so. But uh, the rubber's still soft and they had plastic wrap around them, so uh, they're still in pretty good shape. And uh, just a little trimming work there. And now we'll just do the little leak test. 
See if we've got any leak issues. Right now we'll just test with water. We don't want to waste any coolant. Well, looks pretty good. That's another one that just happened to kind of fit. It's a little, the angles aren't exact, but it's okay. It's a good fit anyway. So it doesn't look like there's any dripping. So now just start the engine and see if we get the any air bubbles out. That's a good little engine. Zero smoke. 267,000 kilometers. Runs like a top and no smoke. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't think it'll be more than that. See this rust? Everywhere inside the engine is rusting because there's no antifreeze. So all this is rust from the engine block. Yeah, you can. I know it's not a huge job, but maybe it helps someone out there. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Back to paradise.